Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about The Crown, Season 4, Episodes 9 and 10. These are the last two episodes of the season, so I thought I'd just kind of group them together. And I thought they were both good episodes to end the season on. So, Episode 9 starts off with Diana dancing to Uptown Girl by Billy Joel. Or Billy Joel, as Queen Elizabeth calls him. And she's dancing to him at Charles' birthday celebration, and it makes Charles very jealous of her popularity. A common theme throughout these episodes is that Charles is acting like a jealous little bitch. So, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip seem to think that Diana and Charles' marriage is improving. But, behind closed doors, that's not the case at all. Charles goes on a ski trip to Switzerland. But he goes missing after an avalanche, and he's soon found alive, but his friend Hugh Lindsay is dead, which very much saddens Queen Elizabeth. And Anne tells Elizabeth that Charles and Diana are not getting along because of their age differences and classing personalities, and that they both sleep with other people. And Charles sleeps only with Camilla, but Diana sleeps with numerous different men. So the Queen and Philip meet with Charles and Diana about their marriage problems, and Diana said she'd do better and try to improve the relationship, and Charles doesn't even get a chance to speak, which is kind of funny. So they go away for the weekend, and Diana gives him a tape of full singing, and he pretends to like it, but he really hates it, and Anne tells Charles that they shouldn't be delusional about their relationship. And Charles thinks Camilla doesn't love him, and she still loves her husband, but Camilla assures him that this isn't the case, and he starts ignoring Diana again. So Diana continues her affair with James Hewitt, while Charles continues his affair with Camilla. So nothing really gets accomplished in that episode. So in episode 10, it starts off with the Deputy Prime Minister Jeffrey Howe, I think that's his name. He resigns from Parliament because of his disagreements with Thatchell. And one by one, all of Thatchel's allies are turning against her. Doesn't that remind you of something? So Thatchel asks Elizabeth for advice, and Elizabeth gives her the same advice she gives everybody. To do nothing. And Thatchel realizes that all hope is lost, so... She kind of takes Elizabeth's advice and steps down as Prime Minister. But Elizabeth respects her because of her dignity and the similar upbringings and personalities, so she gives her the real honor of the Order of Merit, which really moves Thatchel, and it kind of shows how good of an actress Gillian Anderson is, and how well she played that part. Anyway, uh, Charles learns that Diana is still seeing James Hewitt, and he plans to move forward with their separation. Meanwhile, Diana travels to New York on a solo trip, but she's doubtful of her success. And she still has an eating disorder, and her mental stability is really not fair. However, the trip is a success, because Diana visits troubled communities and children's hospitals, and people really realize he's a good person. Camilla sees how well everybody likes Diana, and she tells Charles that if they go public about their relationship, she's afraid of the public scrutiny, because... People would always take Diana's side over Camilla's. And, you know, I think she's right about that because people nowadays, nobody really likes Camilla. Gotta be honest. Nobody likes her. So, she was right. And Charles, get ang Charles gets angry at Diana because Diana put down Camilla's confidence indirectly. And he's like, oh, you're ruining my life. I feel like he does this like five times this season. It's getting kind of old. So, at the Christmas dinner, Charles bitches to Elizabeth about how miserable he is, and she basically calls him a privileged little bitch, and she forbids him from going through with separation or divorce. And I liked Olivia Coleman's acting in that scene, how she really laid into him. And Philip meets with Diana, and he tells her that everyone in the family is broken, and that the only thing that matters is that they all solve Elizabeth. And he warns her not to let the marriage fail, and things will go very bad for her if she does. Which is suspicious as fuck. 
And then the series ends with a family photo, just like season two ended. And something notable is that Dan is not in this photo. And she looks very much like an outsider. But yeah, both casts ended the ones with a family photo, like the um, Claire Foy Yules and the Olivia Coleman Yules. And that's the season. So I'm going to give episode 9 a B and episode 10 a B+. Plus. Now, how does this season rank compared to the first three seasons? Well, I'd say this, season 1 and season 2 are both B pluses, while season 3 is a B. And yeah, that just means like all these seasons are very consistent with each other. I think the Olivia Coleman era of this show is just as good as the Claire Foy era. They both have their highs and lows, but overall very good casts. Um, yeah, can't wait for season 5, and I don't know, I, I, pro I probably will hate Queen Elizabeth only because it's played by the Lord's Umbridge from Harry Potter, because whenever I see her in something, I just hate her because she was so good at being hated in Harry Potter. But I'm so alone to love her in this. Um, it's going to be like two years from now, right? So it's going to be a long wait, but I'm sort of evil with it. Uh, tell me what you guys thought about season four down in the comments. Um, I post videos sometimes, <laughs> multiple times a week. So make sure you click below and subscribe. Uh, I hope everybody out there has a nice day and stay safe and has a good night.